Year after year, I always find myself drawn back to this area in the Columbia Valley. Just the sheer scale of the wilderness available, limitless options for adventures, whatever you are searching for, just look at a map and you will find it. So for my midlife crisis, instead of getting a Corvette and trying to live out of that, I decided to get myself set up uh, with ski touring. Instead, after all these years of going up and down mountains on snowshoes, I decided it was finally time, but I'm certainly uh, not discounting snowshoes. They are a fantastic uh, piece of gear to get up in the mountains in the winter and uh, a lot more affordable than uh, ski touring, that's for sure. But yeah, I'm uh, here in the Canadian Rockies today and I'm aiming for uh, Fluka Mountains, so we'll see what we can do. This is all avalanche debris. I assume this happened last week when the temperature uh, hit 15 degrees Celsius. Got really warm out here. But today, I mean, it, it's cold. Everything is frozen solid. Feels pretty safe to me. This valley is just not at all how I pictured it. I thought it'd be wider at the bottom and like a nice smooth track I could ski up, but it's just been uh, so chaotic down there. So I've been uh, just boot packing up the left hand side. I'm hoping uh, once I get over this next hill that I can actually put the skis on. Really hope that uh, I'm not carrying the skis both ways on this trip. I just spoke a little too soon there. This is exactly what I wanted. So I'll just uh, slide my way up as high as I can and uh, and I'll find out whether or not Forestry Forest knows how to ski. Boot packing once again. I don't know if I have enough time to get all the way up this mountain today. I might just go up here, take a look, and turn around, do a little ski. I don't think I can ski down this part, it's just all these icy chunks where I catch an edge. So we've covered 15 kilometers and uh, 1300 meter gain. That's it for today. I'm gonna to turn around here. It's time to ski. But yeah, I'm gonna throw the drone up before I go, just for future reference. Take a look at these mountains. That's uh, Blackwater Mountain up there. Mount Feluca. It's a sub-peak of uh, Feluca. Another sub-peak of Feluca and Mount Rowley. <laughs> I'm gonna walk down the next part 100% after that experience. Ah, oh, yeah, this is where I should be starting. Get a feel for it. Wow, yeah, this is nice. <laughs> yeah.
little speed here. Whoa. 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 are burning holy overall i feel like that went pretty good for my first time ever ski touring on a big mountain i skied a lot as a kid but all my experience was back in ontario at uh, resorts where it's all groomed and level and you have big wide slopes like out here the mount you have to pay attention uh, to your line is just so much uh, different but yeah i understand why people love it next time uh, i'll probably go somewhere that's like more well documented so uh i get more skiing in the level of effort that i had to put in today to the amount of skiing i got was not in balance but I mean, a day in the Rockies, uh, you can't beat that. I love it. Yeah, I just crashed last night. I was so tired and this morning my legs are really sore. But I think I'm going to go skiing again tomorrow. It's it's my new addiction. However, if I was to uh, ever repeat that route again that I did yesterday, I would uh, very likely choose to uh, do something like that on snowshoes. Like snowshoes, they're undeniably a fantastic piece of gear for winter mountaineering and exploring. They're just uh, super lightweight. You can plow over most types of terrain, no problem. Anytime that you do have to take them off, it only takes a, a second. And then you're just wearing your regular hiking boots underneath, so it's easy to uh, climb over rocks and stuff like that. You can also uh, go up, like straight up steep slopes instead of like having to zigzag and do kick turns, all that stuff. Also, you can uh, bushwhack while wearing snowshoes. Like, I can't imagine trying to carry skis while getting all tangled up in the branches and possibly post holing. It seems like it could be uh, an awful lot of suffering, but skiing is just like a whole different world of opportunities. I'm excited to uh, get out there some more, and I think I'll like stick to more well documented routes that have a trail from like my vehicle all the way up to the Alpine, or do like glacial traverses, stuff like that. I'm, I'm pretty excited, and like, it's really Really rewarding for like the effort you put into it it's just like an unmeasurable amount of fun that you get out of it in terms of van life I've been talking about doing a, a complete interior rebuild on this van so that's better insulated and so that I can uh, better handle the cold and potentially do like a full winter up north in the future I tried my best I, I looked into it a lot to get myself set up and get started on the project ASAP but it just uh, did not line up for me at this uh, point in time so I had to put the whole idea on the back burner and hopefully uh, in the fall I can reconsider it and get started on that but I put up uh, a little video on my second channel Morris DeForest and I got a lot of great comments and uh, suggestions on that video thank you guys for that but yeah just uh, just a quick video here just a little skiing and I uh, <laughs> can't wait to get out again so thanks for watching this video hope everyone is doing good and I'll see you in the next one